I'd heard the Deerwood was a savage land. I believed it when they killed a god. The ultimate role-playing experience recently hit the Nintendo Switch. Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition. This is by Obsidian Entertainment and it's a game I heard about in the past and the story is supposed to be really solid. I have seen a couple videos related to the trailers of the game and a little snippets of gameplay here and there and I can see why a lot of people would like the game. This is supposed to have an expansive character creation that affects your personal story. I'm curious to see how much of your story is actually affected by your character creation and the choices that you make. All of the original updates from the PC version is included in this complete edition and the gameplay looks a little bit choppy on the switch i'm not sure of how the final product will be but from what i've seen it seems a little bit rough but hopefully for those who want to play this kind of game uh isometric rpg on the go hopefully this game turns out really well for you get ready to duel like you never have before in link evolution i've been really interested in this game ever since the original version arrived on ps4 and then pc i've been a huge fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh series it's a game that i grew up with during middle school into high school and i still have cards to this day it's something that I may pick up because I am really unfamiliar with a lot of the new stuff with the Arc V and all of the new like cars that have come out ever since I really stopped playing. You can play this locally and online and there's also 9,000 cars to mess around with so that is a lot of cards to really catch up on. If you want to experience the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, this one is rather expensive being $40, but if you're a fan of the series and you haven't played in a while, or if you just want a little bit more on the Nintendo Switch, then consider picking it up. The Warriors return with an upgraded look and new features to boot. I'm very surprised that I've never heard of the Ninja Saviors. The whole series started on the SNES. I had never like seen anything about it until now. This is a beat em up game with five different characters. Two additional characters were added, Yaksha and Raiden. So that is very cool. I looked at the gameplay and this is updated from the graphics, of course, from the 1994 version. And the sprite work is freaking fantastic. You know how a lot of games come out these days that have that retro feel and they try and recreate that? This one, they really nailed it in terms of the detail. It's a beautiful looking game. It has some really darn good music. At first I was like, okay, this is okay. But as I see more and more trailers, the music is really good. And not only that, but this is also going to have co-op support, which is a new feature, which wasn't present. And that is going to add so much fun locally for a lot of people. If you're a fan of beat em up games, especially ones that have some really interesting characters, especially the new characters look a lot of fun. Raiden is a freaking giant, I didn't expect that like a freaking giant person you play as, a boss looking character. That looks like so much fun. So this is one that was really surprising and it comes out at the end of August and I'll probably be picking this one up. Are you a fan of beat em up games? Is this something you'll probably play or have you played the older version in the past? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious to know how many people knew about the Ninja Saviors and how many people knew about the new one coming out. I've been waiting for you. Work together with an elite police force to solve investigations while saving humankind. Platinum Games is bringing you another 
hopefully good game as this is one of the nicest looking games on the Switch and the one that I'm anticipating the most. The thing that is really cool is the two player combat as you control a legion. You have different legions throughout the game, several in fact, and I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be more. And the way the combat looks is just really fluid. Platinum Games, known for their really awesome games with the Bayonetta series. You have so many different things in terms of the aesthetics being really cool and also the way that you control the character it looks to be pretty fun from what i've seen on the nintendo direct and seen from some gameplay this is looking to be like a really solid game and the whole premise of the cyber police fighting these invaders while also solving cases and you're also rewarded for like small things like picking up the trash and helping others out i really like that and i'm just curious to see how it's going to do in the end if it'll live up to the hype that it's producing and if you're still not convinced you should look at some of the awesome trailers because a lot of really cool stuff like the music which i didn't expect to be really good it's uh, all coming together to look really solid and hopefully this new IP can lead into other games in the Astro Chain like universe which is looking to be really cool. Let me know what you think about Astro Chain if it's a game you've been anticipating or if it's something you'll probably wait for some reviews to come out before buying it. A boy grows up to become a watcher protecting life so that they will find their way into being reborn. So this game deals with a lot of reincarnation. Oninaki is a game that I really anticipated more than Astro Chain until recently after playing the demo. I played the demo and I like the gameplay, but there's just some things with the game and the way that is structured in the story that I'm not quite liking entirely. I covered this in another video fully that you can watch right here, but for some quick thoughts, if you're curious about the game, this is like a darker story. It has some really cool skill trees. You have demons that fight by your side and there's also different things regarding the characters and different types of demons that you come across with their abilities so it's a game that i hope will fix some of the issues but overall this is a game that i really wish does well despite some of the glaring flaws and it's coming to you at 49.99 so it's not a fully priced game but it's still a game that you may want to check out a review before buying Will you be picking up any of the games on this list? Feel free to share in the comments. And if you want to discover upcoming indie games and Nintendo content, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of my latest releases. Until next time, everyone, take care.